Welcome to another video. We will be looking at why AI girlfriends and one of the show that happened at the CES 2025, which is the Consumer Electronics Show. It involved a robot which has been making rounds called Aya. And it was built by the robotics company at a company that builds the realistic humanoid robots and relationship-based AI. One thing for sure is the robot is here to stay is part of the physical AI. And this is the company that built that robot at one of the stand. And it's a pretty interesting marketing concept right now. The name of the robot is actually Aria. And as you can see, this was their stand. And this is some of the things that were there at that stand dot stop. Uh, the fish used for Aria and some of the other robots were largely captivating and people had to stare by twice while passing by but just a quick look at what that is about is one of the selling points being mentioned about this robot is the fact that it's gonna help with companionship the ceo actually mentioned that uh, the use case is companionship and things for companies or organizations that have like Places they have to interact with users like receptionists and different things or casinos. They can definitely use the robots in such scenario. And this is one of the robots for which this reporter was looking at and he sort of passed by and noticed like the robot was staring and the robot was also turning and turning with him. What is going around right now is the fact that this robot is being termed as an AI girlfriend, which is to keep companionship with the male counterparts uh, which is quite interesting but what the ceo was actually explaining is a scenario where the robots can help in social interactions and can help with companionship in places like hospitals um attend to maybe customers and so on and so forth but if you check what other things have been written about this robot you would see quite different things the price is currently at 175k, which is pretty pricey. It's not for like the average person to... Right now, it's not for the average person to buy. But you see, it's been renamed the Robot Girlfriend. It's not for the average person. And I think they are largely targeting organizations right now. So this is quite funny. So you say it's ambitious robot like Aria's romantic partners. Oh... And uh, at says this also happened. And a good other thing is, long term, this company is trying to build like a robot indistinguishable from humans. And they can handle social interactions and companionship quite well. And there has been quite some comparison with Tesla's Optimus robots. Though this is more human, kind of more human looking than the Tesla's one. So this is a picture with some one of the reporter I believe snapping with this. Um, we are looking at one thing which I would show you here is my company was also hoping to make robots indistinguishable from humans, which could also tackle male loneliness epidemic. This is a funny statement. Now, in order to tackle male loneliness, you know, there will be robots that will be keeping male companions at which I am having mixed feelings about either it's that solving the problem or that's making the problem worse because at some point people will be bonding more with machines males for instance will be bonding more with machines than their actual opposite um, gender so they say aria could function as a romantic partner with ability to remember users and adapt to their needs that's quite amazing and no it's definitely not what you're thinking if you're watching up to this point so these are some of the unique versions and prices. The first version is the boss version, which just includes the neck, air the neck, which is at ten thousand dollars. The second version can be taken apart and cost one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So I believe at the one at one hundred and fifty thousand and one hundred and seventy-five, you can put in new faces, you can change new stuff, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So that's one interesting update in the industrial robot space, and this been quite interesting to see robots being sold from a companionship standpoint and a kind of social interaction standpoint meaning one is male loneliness epidemic which i'm having second thoughts about another is handling customers or going around doing what uh, people would usually do such as staying at the reception or attending to patients to get preliminary data at the hospital or some stuff like that 
So that's it about uh, Aria. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, something that would definitely happen for sure is with time over the years, the price and cost of producing these robots will go down and we can definitely see this robot coming for a much cheaper price. So, and the AI also will get more sophisticated. So there and then the average person can definitely purchase any of these humanoid robots, but Till then, that's pretty it about this video. Just a quick recap of ARIA, what ARIA is about, and a quick use case of seeing like ARIA's perspective on one area that the humanoid robot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if, it's, if you find this interesting, if it's something you think, oh, it truly is going to solve the male loneliness epidemic, or it's something that's won't be using are you guys gonna buy this if it becomes quite cheap or there might be a shift in the company's approach towards the use of this robot bye